Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about my choice of cloud storage. It's of great importance to me to keep my personal data and the data from my channel separate. This is because I want to safeguard the integrity of the privacy of my personal information while at the same time ensuring that the data related to my channel are managed in an organized and efficient manner. By keeping those two types of data separate, I can find the balance between my personal life and my professional obligation, which is essential for my overall productivity and well-being. In addition, yet I don't feel like carrying an external hard drive around all day, so the cloud storage must be easy, easily accessible. Besides Google Drive, iCloud and OneDrive, there are multiple providers. I use already two of those, and so I started looking for an alternative. This had to meet enough storage space, safety and privacy of data, easy access and file management, compatibility with different devices, reasonable price, reliable customer service, days of retention, and the number of devices connected to the cloud storage. To arrive at the choice, I searched the internet, read countless reviews and the reviews read on the internet, but also in the different app stores, both for iOS and Android and Mac. As far as these could be found, my shortlist are Internext, Sync.com, iDrive and pCloud. I will show you now a comparison chart, chart with the difference. So here's the comparison chart of the cloud stories. I search sync.com, pCloud, iDrive and Internext. Sync.com is not the cheapest, but also not, not the most expensive. Zex terabyte of storage, all devices encrypted and two-factor authentication. pCloud is the cheapest, but has only two terabyte of storage. Encryption, you have to pay extra, upload to two terabyte. You can buy a lifetime, uh, you can buy a lifetime connection, no SSD storage, and all devices are accessible and uh, they've got a music and video player. iDrive, 278 euros. First two years, 208 euros. 10 terabytes of storage, cheaper plans for all the devices. Thus, iDrive has the most uh, plans. Internext, 10 terabytes, but is the most expensive. 300 euros almost, but the first year you only pay 75 euros a year. Encrypted also for all devices, two factor authentication, an account, and upload to 20 gigabytes. So, those are the four, and um, yeah. I've looked for all the reviews and I read all the reviews and uh, now let's show us let's show us the sites. I've opened the four sites. This is iDrive pricing year pricing model monthly yearly iDrive mini iDrive personal and iDrive BMR, so it's a lot of possibilities. Next one is Internext, you can save 75% on your first year. And here the prices are for individual 75 euros and after that 300 euros a year. Then you've got Sync, compare the plans, plans for individuals, you are free. 5 gigabytes, solo basic 2 terabytes, and professional 6 terabytes. And that is what you get. All the four are, what I've read, good cloud storages. But the decision for me is that the fact that I can easily integrate into my workflow 
that is accessible on all devices and especially on my MacBook and also that is easy to operate. For now I have made the choice for pCloud. The reasons for me are the servers are in Europe. Encryption, even though this is cost extra. I made a lifetime subscription, automatic upload of the film roll, built-in video player, file versions, you can go 300 days back, automatic synchronization on multiple devices, back up the devices, and you can use the browser extensions. That are my preferences, but for you it can be different. You can choose your own cloud storage. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel and to see my first experience with pCloud.